What's up, everybody? Um, today I wanted to do a video on uh, Tungle. Uh, what is Tungle and how you would use Tungle? So first off, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say how to get Tungle. So uh, you need to open up a browser, head over to Google, type in Tungle, and uh, search Tungle, and then go ahead and download it from here. The first link, go to Downloads, uh, click on that, and it should take you over to this page. Uh, what you need to do now is you need to uh, tap uh, click on download Tungle. Uh, since I already have it, I'm not going to do it, but um, uh, we need to do we need to download Tungle from here and uh, let it download. Once it, it's downloaded, then you need to uh, open up the file and do the uh, installation process as usual. Um, once the uh, installation is done, what you need to do then is go ahead and open up Tungle. Uh, you'll notice that Tungle is still a beta version and it always will be because it's still under development. Uh, the purpose of this program is it's, uh, it will be used for um, uh, connecting onto private networks of some games that you've downloaded and you want to play with your friends, set up a LAN, uh, LAN party, uh, something like that, so you can use it for that. Uh, once you've uh, loaded up Tungle, so, um, what you got to do is you also need to sign up. You also need to sign up for this. Um, so whenever you are uh, at the browser, uh, you need to go in here and click join for free, free sign up. You sign up, you choose the username, password, and the email address. Uh, all of that is done, good stuff. Uh, so you have Tungle up and running right now. And uh, what you got to do then is enter your credentials, which is your username and your password. Can you get them to be remembered for next time or not? Click log Connecting to Tungle. And you hear this um, computerized lady speaking. Um, Whereas right now it's telling me that I have new version of beta, uh, new version beta of um, Tungle available to download. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore it for right now for the video purpose, and I'm going to update it later. So I'm going to click no and go ahead. And as you can notice down here, it does the uh, checking for the adapters and uh, network connection to the computer right now. And uh, once it's finalized, you come up with this screen right here. Uh, you can choose from any of these uh, categories of uh, the game types. Um, the games you want to play, um, and then, or if you want to search a particular game, for example, I want to join Grid 2 Network. So you type it in, press enter, and it comes up uh, right here Grid 2 Chat. Double tap this, go into it, um, wait for it to load up. Uh, once it's loaded up, uh, for you to get the uh, necessary files to get this working so you can play then with other people on uh, LAN servers. Um, you click on this arrow right here, this arrow, yeah, tap it once, click on don't panic, you shouldn't panic, just, just tap it, and it brings you over here, so it tells you this is how you get it uh, connect to it, so how to play, it tells you exactly what you need to do, um, so create a new Steam account with a new, uh, new email address, if you already have Steam, you don't have to worry about this, if you install Grid 2, Tells you which uh, uh, version you need to download, so reloaded release was recommended. Then you download uh, the update right here plus DLC plus MP fix pack, and you extract it to your game install folder. Um, and then, as you already have your Steam client, or if you don't, you download it from here. Um, then you just uh, follow these instructions, and it tells you run Steam, log in, and then go into the game grid to network, start the game. Um, and then go to grid online and choose and join any server and have fun. That's all there is. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped, please do subscribe and, and rate and comment below as well if you have any troubles. And I'll do all my best to help you out. Thanks a lot.